Hey guys and welcome back to another PO video in which I'm using the 17 to 28mm 2.8 lens from Tamron. I just want to say a massive thank you to Tamron Australia for lending me this lens so I could put together this POV for you guys. So just grab a coffee, sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, yeah, so I'm at the first location. I'm already set up and ready to go. Um, so again, today's video, I'm using the 17 to 28 uh, f2.8 from Tamron. I just want to say a massive thank you for Tamron for uh, lending me this lens. I also have the 28 to 75, which I'll be doing a PO video on as well. So yeah, I'm again. It's I'm do, just going to do a few warm-up shots. I've played around in the settings just before. Um, like I said, I'm normally the last two videos I've been using the 85 mil. So I'm just trying to get used to this really super wide lens. And so far, what I'm getting in the frame. Is really it's mind it's mind blowing me with this 17 mil because I've never used this wide before. Um, so yeah, let's just have a look and see how this first shot will look. Again, a two second delay on the timer, and the settings for that one were ISO 64 2.8 and one one six of a second. So yeah, that's come out really well actually already. Yeah, that's awesome. Again, I'll flick this on the screen so you can have a look doing a nice landscape shot then I'll do a portrait shot for Instagram but also if, even with the this landscape here as you know we could do a nice carousel on Instagram and just do that slide left to right um, so yeah that's a really nice shot I'm just going to take another one the the light tonight in Melbourne is really nice even like the we're in obviously blue hour at the moment it's really nice I've got another frame that way that I want to take I'll do another one here then there's a lower frame just below. So if you're from Melbourne, you probably know this area pretty well. Um, but obviously for anyone that's not from Melbourne, um, then yeah, there's some fantastic spots just around here itself. Again, the city is really pumping because obviously uh, Christmas parties, work parties, etc. cetera. So um, let's just have a play around again with these settings and see what we can get. I'm just gonna bring up the ISO a bit more and I'll drop that shutter speed a little bit more I reckon let's drop it down a bit more it's 1.7 that's minus 1.7 I, I might just bring that up a little bit more let's focus on the building see how that comes out again I'll link everything in the description below of what I'm using in terms of gear oh yep that's better oh that's, oh, that's lovely that I'm really happy again I'll flick this on screen and let me know in the comments below which one you like um, but let's um, just flip it around into portrait oh don't want to do that imagine that Jesus don't want to drop my camera let's just check the frame yeah let's, let's just bring that down a bit more if I can there we go get that level a lot of people don't, I don't know how you feel, but a lot of people sometimes when they're doing landscapes, they don't really use um, the grids. So on, on my Sony and, and probably 90% of the cameras, I've got my grid lines on there as well for, for like your grid thirds for, for Instagram. And also I've got my horizontal line that I use there. Um, so that just really helps me, you know, just saves a lot of time in production as well. But it just gives you an idea of the frame that you're going to get so again this is about minus 1.3 i might just bring that shutter up a little bit there we go do its magic oh yeah let's have a look yeah baby oh wow okay like right, again 17 mil like it's like even with this lens i'll be able to crop that even more in, into a different frame if i wanted to because that's what we've got obviously with the sony or a mirrorless camera you can crop in so much um so yeah that's awesome i'm really happy with that one um so i'm just going to go to the next spot and see what we can get from there i might actually go in this corner i've actually never took this frame right in the corner Again, it's just the fact that I've not had the lens um, to be able to get it all into frame because I've only got two lenses at the moment. I've got the 85 and I've got the standard um, 28 to 70 kit lens from Sony. So 
really excited that Tamron obviously gave me the opportunity to shoot these videos for them. Um, so yeah, we'll see what I can get here on the, on the corner. Yeah, so I've just set up on this corner. This is literally on um, 17 mil, um, the, obviously the, the vocal length. And um, yeah, I've never took this shot because I've just, like I said, with the frame, I've never not be able to get it in the way I want it to. Um, I'm gonna try the settings the same as before. Let's just check the peaking, yeah. So obviously, as you know, if you're a Sony user, you've got the peaking. So everything that's red is what's in focus. You can turn that on and off. Um, just always have a good check. Let's see how we go with this one. Yeah, it's because there's a real nice, um, you can't see it, I don't think, but there's actually um, some lights just to the left of the frame um, that are giving it a nice halo sort of effect um in the frame that's actually a really nice frame but i just don't know if there's a better frame on the other side but it is still pretty nice nice leading line going that way that we have just make sure it's focused it's focused on that bridge yeah that's good that's focused as well um so i'm pretty happy with that let me just uh flip it into landscape now i like those lights there as well so let's get that there really this this tripod is really good like I'd never be able to balance my old one on here um, I was a boat there let's see if we can get that quickly Yeah, got it. And there's a tram coming now. Let's see if we can get the tram for a long exposure. There we go. Yeah, I'll get the tram. Won't drag that out that much, but it should still be pretty good. Yeah, oh, actually, that's actually really good. Look at that tram line. Boom. Yeah, that's really cool. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. And then again, I'll just flick it up. And that's lovely and focused. Yeah, pretty happy with that one. So, all good there. Let's go have a little walk around and see what we can get. So yeah, I'm just gonna shoot this way now. I'm gonna use this leading line on this concrete, as you can see in the frame. Again, landscape. Again, I wouldn't be able to get this on my 28. So I've got nice and super wide here. So it's awesome. Let's see what we get. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I cut water. Oh, I'll flip again. I'll flick the picture on screen. And that's sharp as. Thank you, Tamron. And there's a boat going past. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. Now I got it. <laughs> there it is. A little bit of a blur there. Again, it's a nice shot, that one. And now I'm just gonna flip over to portrait. Give it more of a leading line. Get that frame there. It's nice and level, keeping the settings all the same. Get a different focus point. All right, go up, go up. There we go. See what we get with this one. Oh, that's lovely. I love the concrete, the, the line that leaves. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yep, I'm happy with that one. Done. Right, let's go and have a look and see what we can get bit further down so I'm just at a little classic spot now in Melbourne um, it's actually a little landing pad here so I'm even closer to the water I've got the tripod as you can see flat to the ground just trying to get it nice and stable 
I'm actually shooting this at 24 mil, but I just want to bring that around a bit so I can get that part in there. Might even just come back a touch because then I can always crop in later on. And there's a boat going past, but I'm not going to get it in time. Um, let's get these settings. Two second timer. Let's focus there. I might get it, I might get it, I might get it. Let's try it. Don't touch it. Hopefully this um, landing's not moving too much on the water. So we don't get no blur. Oh. How was that for a first attempt? <laughs> you beauty. Did I get the boat? Yeah, I did. Got it blurred. I've done this shot before, but obviously again, not on a not on the lens of this sort of um, abilities. Um, the one thing I'd say about this this lens, obviously 17 to 28, I wouldn't I wouldn't really use it for street street photography i'll still stick to my um 85 mil um just because I, I i love that sort of compressed shot with the 85 this i this lens mainly i would just use for landscapes maybe some portrait stuff um, especially with like the led one stuff that i do um on the streets so you can get some real nice wide shots obviously architecture is like if you've got real close up to some architecture, uh, some lookup shots, I'd use this lens, especially on the 17 mil. Um, but yeah, that's that's mainly what I'd use it for. My impressions already from from tonight, I really like the lens. Uh, the focus point has been very good. Tracking's good. The ability to drop to 2.8 f-stop. Um, again, that 17 to 28. It's really light. You won't even know it's on on the camera. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. This, um, so I've took that one. This just you do the classic portrait. You know, you know the drill now. Let's just get that in there. Might even bring that to 17. I'll use. I'm going to use that little leading line there a little bit as well. I'll show you in a second how low this tripod is settings i'll keep the same don't touch it hopefully there's no movement on this bloody platform oh yeah beautiful yeah that's that's great again i'll flick that on screen um i don't know about anybody else but with these sort of shots, I really enjoy them. It's really therapeutic for me. If I've had a crazy week, which I have, um, I was on a course for um, for work these last uh, last two weeks. So I've been on on a crazy course. Um, I'll just show you. You can see there that that's how low the tripod is. So. That's why I really like this tripod. I'm really, literally, I've had it a couple of weeks. Absolutely stoked with it. Um, it's just so versatile in terms of where you can do it. You can even flip that, this round so it's underneath. I've not tried that yet with the camera, but yeah, you can literally just flip it all the way underneath um, and get real low. So I might try it later, see how we go. Right, let's try again, there's a bit bit of traffic around um, yeah it's actually um, a really hazy night tonight the sky is not perfect like, I'm just looking at the moon now it's really hazed over which I actually don't mind like some photographers would be like oh no I like a I like a nice clear sky but me nah I like it nice and hazy brings a bit more mood and drama to your picture Let's see how that looks oh yeah beautiful happy with that um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and let's take that off. Sweet. Turn that off. I'm actually going to go meet another photographer, Richie. I'll link his um, channel and Instagram in the page. I'll introduce you to him if he wants to come on and say hello. If not, I'll just link his channel at the top. 
and um, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to Flinders and get some, hopefully some trail shots and stuff around there. So I'm just outside uh, Flinders Street Station. Um, it's pretty packed here, a lot of people. A lot going on, a lot happening. Got my settings ready to go. I'm just waiting for this tram to come into the frame. Yeah, it's not bad that one. Um, nice little trail that one. Let's try and go four seconds. Let's just bring that stop up a bit more. Let's see if we can get some uh, car trails. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice and sharp. Wait for this tram here. I've got another tram going the other way um, to be honest this is probably the busiest I've seen in Melbourne in a long time Hello. yeah good mate how you doing um, so yeah just gonna wait for this tram to go past get this one in yeah man really happy with this lens and did we get that one? Yeah, got it. Fuck it. Look at that, man. Are you gonna do you like stack them or anything like that? Yeah, I do. I do do. I do do stacks. So I've done a couple of pictures here. So I've got cars, tram that way, under a bit more underexposed. A couple of cars there. I don't like that one, but I'll probably use. Uh, them ones, stack them all in and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, everyone, Richie's hit with me now. So again, I'll link his channel in the description so you can check him out. And also I'll put his Instagram up there as well. He's pretty fresh to uh, photography, but he's doing an amazing job. Again, he's a Sony shooter like myself. And uh, we got Samyang. Yeah, yeah the Sam trusty Samyang 85. Uh, I think I recommended that lens to him. So it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, all good. Let's see if we can get this tram. Oh, and I've got another one coming the other way. Oh, that's annoying. Let's see. Oh yeah, got it. It's beautiful. Again, that's at 17 mil. Um, really liking the wide. As me and Richie were just saying, like this lens is great for for, for some street, but me mainly, I've I've enjoyed it for the landscape stuff um, and maybe some lookups. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm really liking this lens. So see what see what we do after that. Yeah, cool. So we're at this location, it's going to do a long exposure um, over the bridge. Hopefully, you can hear me. Um, so, got this. Obviously, you can see the foreground. Got the city. I'm just going to get some nice trails. I've set the uh, shutter speed at 3.2, f2.8, ISO 64 with a two-second delay. And I've got a zonal on, so hopefully it picks up the city, which it has. We'll see how this looks. Look at that, look at those trails. And there's a bit of a haze again over the city, which is really nice. It's got a bit of a haze, but I really like that frame with the city in the background. Um, obviously what I'll do, I'm actually happy with the focus there. So what I'll do, obviously I'll take two more shots, then um, obviously because I've not moved, obviously I'll take two more shots and I can stack those in um, Lightroom. Or Photoshop. I've got a seagull that keeps 
hanging around me and keeps squawking at me. There must be a nest nearby. Oh yeah, there we go. Heaps of trails. It's a really nice frame. Obviously it's in portrait mode. Good old Instagram. I'll take another one in landscape. So just take one more shot. See what I can get. Like I said, I can then stack all those. Oh, beautiful. Again, that's bang, That's on 17 mil. Um, obviously with the Tamron that I've been using in this video. So yeah, this, that's a set of 17 mil. So we could even like, you know, crop in a bit more, but I still, I like that 17 mil. Um, this, this seagull really doesn't like me, so I'm not gonna be here much longer. So I don't fancy getting attacked by Mr. Siegel. All right, let's go landscape. Get it nice and level. Make sure this is all tight. Uh, yep. Then Let's just check the peak in. Yeah, you can see there, that's all in red, so that's what's in focus. Keep the setting the same. Let's go over here a bit more. Let's get the city in. Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, bang on that. So sharp. That's 2.8 as well. Let's wait for some more traffic. A few more cars. There we go. Uh, three, two, one, go. That's a good one. Oh, look at the haze. Do another one. I need, actually, I need the traffic from the other side. Here we go. Traffic from the other side. No, because I've got enough. I want some more red. Here we go. Few more red lights. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's lovely. That was stacked really nice. Don't think I need another one on that one. Yeah, awesome. So that's that location. If you're from Melbourne, this is um, this is Port Melbourne side, just near Port Melbourne, on top of the bridge here. And welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed that POV street of me using the Tamron 17 to 28. Um, again, I just want to say a massive thank you to Tamron Australia for lending me this lens. Um, a few things I just want to say about the lens, obviously, is I'm really impressed. Um, 2.8, so the ability for low light in this, fantastic. Obviously, I was shooting the Sony a7 III, which we know that the ability of shooting low light is incredible. So, yeah, that's a massive, obviously, win for me. Um, it's only 420 grams, the lens, so it's nice and light. Um, so I didn't really notice it when it was on the body. Um, and obviously, I don't know if you know, but the actual barrel of the lens is inside. So when you're obviously scrolling, it's yeah, it's all built inside, so you don't notice that in, in the lens. But overall, fantastic. Um, also, I have the 28 to 75 G2, which is on my camera right now. So the next video will be a street POV, me using that at night. So stay tuned for that one and look forward to seeing you in the next video.